you probably don't think it's possible to make a disc golf bag with only ten dollars well we don't think so either. either today we're gonna be at home depot with the bro now how it's gonna work is we each get ten dollars exactly or less to use on home depot for products now the only things we can use outside of these home depot products is a community roll of tape and then the basics like scissors knife if you need a ruler or a marker or anything like that then we're gonna build the bags today and try them out tomorrow put them through a couple challenges play a couple rounds with them and see how they do but we'll see you in home depot let's go we made it inside picking out our duct tape to share um, we're just gonna go with this tape. It's six bucks, which is why we're just gonna have this be a community one. But I didn't tell you what challenges we'll be putting our bags through. So what we're gonna do when we play with them is the loser of that hole gets a disc thrown at their bag. So say Kyle loses the hole, I can take a disc and throw it as hard or as soft as I want at the bag to see if we can test it for durability. Now we're gonna go over each of our kind of ideas and See if we can find what we're looking for for under 10 bucks. I was thinking having like a hardwood back, find like a cheap piece of wood, and then put a cardboard box around it to have the hardwood as a back plate, then make some duct tape straps. Think if I can make a duct tape putter pocket to slide my putters in. Very interesting. I was thinking I'm gonna go find either a very large piece of PVC pipe or like a venting pipe, and then depending on how much that is, look at the budget and buy some like, uh, buy some cardboard to go on the ends and then just use the tape as straps, but we'll see what happens. We're gonna go for look for the hardboard and then the PVC pipes. Whichever one we find first is where you will see us next. The other rule we forgot to say is it has to fit at least 10 discs. Oh, yeah. And if you drop any discs, you just have to pick them up and hold them. We're at the venting section. We found this piece, it is four bucks. Kyle's opening it. This is a disc length and I think we can make this work. I'm just gonna have to find something to put in between it to hold it open, but I think this is gonna work. So I have like $3 to find something to stick in between it to make sure that it works. And then I also don't wanna cut myself, but we'll figure that out. All right, let's find something for you, buddy. Cardboard box section for Kyle. Three bucks plus tax. Got this, this is gonna be the backbone of our bag. And we have all this extra to make the sides, walls, whatever else we want but like a disc we need to find a hard piece of wood to go on the back so he doesn't destroy it when he throws 70 miles an hour into my bag yeah i'm not sure how this will hold up either but we're gonna go to the wood section see if i can find anything and if kyle can somehow get lucky i'm also gonna snag a cardboard box i think it's like a dollar 38 we're gonna get one of these we're just gonna get that for the side to tape stuff on the side and then potentially use yeah. it for the things seven and a half dollars left wait are we doing pre-tax or post-tax we're doing po post-tax post-tax wow <laughs> that's gonna be rough how much wait how much is this like wait, how much was my tube five bucks so i only have like two dollars left okay we're gonna go to the wood section and see what we can find but i'll see you guys there you need to be long. Ha -ha. we're in the pvc section because it's real cheap and i think i can find something how much is that? I don't know, three bucks. <laughs> I cannot afford that. All right, I'm getting rid of the cardboard box and I'm now getting I'm now getting a PVC pipe. That probably won't fit in the car. Oh, there's some more over Wait, here. You probably asked him to cut it. Yeah, I'm gonna drop the box and get a PVC pipe so I can afford to get sides to hold this open because if all else fails, I can use the tape as sides, but I need something strong and sturdy to hold this open. So PVC pipe it is. Let's go. I they're cheap, even... they're cheap. Yep, we're putting this back to save money. I just. 322 we're gonna get two, one. one of these this is dollar 86 that means i can now afford the cardboard and we'll have enough to hold the bag open let's go so right now you have a cardboard box i feel like we need to i feel like we need to look at the wood section because yeah, all you have is a cardboard box but you never know maybe my cardboard box will beat your plastic pipe yeah let's or this will be interesting all right, we're in the wood section, and we just saw the styrofoam over here. I'm gonna do this sheet of styrofoam. Way out of his price range. Bro, wait, what about like the Insta foam, like the cans of foam? Like I can That's use for- probably out of your price range as well. What's your wait. next track, Kyle? Loki? You don't have enough. I do have oh, enough have for six socks. Six. I, this might be the worst purchase of my life. We'll come back. Six oh six. But, like, imagine this on like, as comfort for your back. Cause like, he doesn't have any comfort. He has a metal pipe. Yeah, but our socks gonna no stand up to the force of a disc. Right, duct tape. Him. If you, I guess if he does use enough duct tape, 
then I feel like it could work well. We'll go look at the wood section. We still haven't gotten there yet. He's got five bucks right here. I think five dollars and ten bucks might take the cake. Is this gonna fit in the car? Six so bucks. we can use, he can use the tools. He just can't use anything out. Like he can use a saw and whatever, but he just can't use other materials. See, I feel like for six bucks, like this isn't gonna provide much structure. I'm gonna stop a disc. Are you sure? Yeah. I do have this much money. This is five bucks. This will definitely stop a disc. I'm not sure about that, this, but. Yeah. Might get this. That I can't. Or you could get the, you can always get the socks. Probably. Are you getting the socks or the board? Probably the board. <laughs> you making the board or getting the board? We're taking the board, but we're not, you never take the top product. You always gotta, you always gotta get the second one. We're gonna need to put some of this stuff down. It's a big board, bro. Five bucks. Sheesh. Bro, might just make a whole wooden bag. This is quite heavy though. Like carrying this on my back would not feel the best. But we roll. All right, we're gonna check out. I believe both of ours will be under 10 bucks. I'll take a picture of both of them and put them up if they aren't, but I don't think they will be. But I will see you guys at the house and we're gonna start building our bags. Holy cow, get pranked. You're actually gonna see us in the car outside of Home Depot. Pull out your receipt. So mine was, so the, the metal pipe Focus. The metal pipe was six, oh, six bucks. Cause well, not what I bargained for, but my total was for the load nine eighty seven. Kyle eight ninety six or an eight ninety seven. See the proof. See. I got it was like eight bucks. So I decided to get four wooden pencils. Show us the pencils. They're in the back. Dang, I don't have the pencil on me either. But an older lady gave me a pencil for free. So that would have put me over, but she bought it for me. And so I'm going to have to make sure to use, use that. The pencils to hold the box open. Yeah, looking back, I could have used the pencils to hold the box open because it would have been a lot cheaper, but it is what it is. We got the plywood here. I will see you at home where we will be assembling these boxes. See you there. And we are back. Made it to the garage. We got all of our stuff out here. So for my bag, I got this pipe, like I said. We're going to open her up, put the PVC pipe in here, and then make sure it can fit a disc. Put some cardboard, make it a little safer so I don't get cut. And then use this duct tape and make a strap. Kyle? I got my commander bag here and I'm pretty much gonna try and mimic this with the wooden cardboard. But I also forgot to get nails. But I had $2 extra, so Jake said I'd get like 15 to 20 nails. Yeah, so we looked online at Home Depot. I'm not sure why he didn't buy nails. So you can get, for these roofing nails, you can get a pack of 35 for $2. So we're gonna, since he forgot, we're gonna cut them down to 20 nails instead of the 35. So he gets 20 of these nails, but we're gonna go ahead and get started and we'll check in with you once we start making some progress, but here we go. Don't do anything in this video that we're doing. We're trained professionals, but I'm gonna cut some stuff. Kyle's already cutting some stuff. Let's cut some stuff. All right, Got the back plate. Ah, you're right, you're right. First screwed himself with the metal pipe. I just want to cut it, but I want to do it safely. Get wire snippers. Do we have those? Do we have those? All right, I would use this, but to do it safely is going to require a lot of work and YouTube isn't going to like the way that I'm going to do it. So I'm going to find some wire snippers. All right, safety, number one priority. I think these will work. Yes, we're going to cut this. Kyle's going to cut that. We're going to cut some stuff and Make a legendary disc golf basket. All right, basket. I keep saying basket. I'm sorry if I said it previously. But Making bags. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have something that can hold disc golf discs. It, I barely just put the tape on the sides. This is 10 discs right here. So it looks like we got a little bit more than 10, but I'm gonna put some supports right here on the side, on this side, one on this side. Just pretty much wrap it in duct tape put up the cardboard box wall things, and then we got something that might work as a disc golf bag. We've come a long way. Here's a little update from Kyle. Kyle's come a long way. I'm about in the same boat, just taping it up, but here's Kyle. So we got, we got our poverty nails, but so far we're good. It, everything fits. I'm surprised this disc fits. It's huge, but we we got somewhere. We got a box, holds this, hoping to add a putter pocket, but after that, we're chilling. And mine pretty much looks the same. We got the little things in the side. I'm gonna put the cardboard on and then figure out how to add some straps to this. But let's see how that goes. We've got the walls on here. 
Feeling pretty, pretty solid. I'm going to use this for the straps. I'm just going to take some duct tape and just fold it over on itself and make a satchel. The inside looking a little crusty. Let's do a disc check. I haven't done that in a while. She's solid. Let's fill her oh. up. Let's fill her up. A little, little tight on that pyro. They fit. How many do we have? Two. Oh yeah, we, we got plenty for 10, so we'll be chilling. I'm gonna put the straps on. Kyle's also gonna put his straps on. We'll check in with you when we are all finished. Check it, check it. We are all finished up. Final product, this is what mine's looking like. You got the nice taped up front. The inside is a little rocky, but I did make a handle up here with an extra PVC pipe that I had. And she pretty sturdy. I think she'll hold up. I did check. It fits like 12 discs. Now Kyle's. So I got, I was going to have a putter pocket, but didn't have enough time. But we got this one over the side. So it was snacks. Now it's for my two putters. And then we got the other ones. It's pretty sturdy. She'll, she'll hold. Works for now. But now that we got these done, it's dark out now. So tomorrow we're going to go ahead and play a course with it. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out that future video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And here are your free feet picks. Three, two, one.